All right, so the guys are just connecting this massive three by four leaf filter. This is a large downspout. This is a large leaf filter. We have them for both two by three and three by four. You can see right here, Cal's using the new female coupler right here. The guys are really liking that coupler. They're using it with the not quite a 90 right at the house. You can't beat how these two downspouts are being tied together. This is the best installation of two downspouts, and there's some bonus footage at the end, so stay to the end. This sediment trap is going to catch tree buds, tree seeds, and shingle gravel that'll find their way through the leaf filter. If you're a DIYer, you may want to purchase this. It makes the job a lot easier. If you got to go under the sidewalk in several locations, it's well worth the price of that drill. If you're a business owner, you owe it to your men to give them equipment to help make their job easier. There's no better way to connect two downspouts than with a combo fitting, a Y and a 45 combined. You don't want to use a T right here. You want the water that's falling off the roof as it picks up velocity, falling down the downspout. You don't want to impede that water. You want to keep that water flowing freely. So you want to use a Y fitting combined with a 45 degree fitting. Here's that bonus footage that I spoke about. I've never seen a walkway that comes down the side of the house, turns and wraps the back corner, and goes into a patio that didn't hold water on the inside. We're going to show you what we did. The men took a downspout. They tied two downspouts together. Water pools right here. It gets stuck on the inside of the concrete walk. So this sediment trap is going to be a 6-inch. It's going to have a few risers to get it to grade. It's going to be a little below the walk because we want it to grab up all the water that floods inside this walkway. Now this 12 by 12 is tapered so that it catches the water. We have a lot of rooftop on this house. We have long gutter runs. Got a three by four downspout to a sediment trap. It's on a four inch line. Over here we have a 45 and a Y combo fitting. See there's a Y fitting with a 45 so that we can tie in this three by four downspout. Look at this run. This run just goes across the back of the house. It's a lot of rooftop water. Right here is where the water collects, right inside the sidewalk. So we put the sediment trap on the four inch main. This is below the concrete. It's gonna grab up all that water that sits here and pools here. It's gonna go right out the pop-up emitter. We have really good slope. People always wanna know how far do you run the roof runoff system away from the house? However far it has to run to get to a, a lower level. And what I mean by that is the discharge area has to be below the majority of the run. We have really good slope. So if you just put the pop up here, you're going to hold water right underneath the sidewalk. This pipe will expand and it will raise the sidewalk if you do something like that. So you don't want to do that. You want to run the pop up down low so that the pipe empties in the back of the lot where you have more fall. You want to put in that little bit of extra digging to get that discharge line right. It's really important. If you miss on that, you leave the whole line full of water. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports the channel. If you have any questions regarding this installation, leave them in the comments section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.